Greetings all you caring people, I hope you're doing well. Today we are going to talk about the first thing to happen in a game, the champion select. Exciting, isn't it? Still, it is where a part of the game is going to be decided, so you better be prepared. Let's go! First thing first, who should you play? You could go balls out and pick your beloved LeBlanc as a support, but your team might not feel the same love you are expressing toward the champion. Matter of opinion? Not really. As LeBlanc might be a good support in some rare cases, most of the time she will just put herself and thus her ADC behind, giving more room for the opponent to crush you and your dreams and giving them the victory. See what you've done? Okay, don't sweat it. First, for the support role and also for every role in the game, when you are learning it and until you've truly mastered the mechanics that revolve around the role, you should always make yourself a pool of two or three champions and always stick with them. But be careful! Do not only go for those flashy LCS plays beasts at first, who have an incredibly high difficulty gap simply because you will be so focused on your champion mechanics that you're more likely to forget all that revolve around warding, roaming, protecting, placement, rotation, etc. etc. It is an advice, but I'm not your mother in the end, so you just do what you want, but don't complain after. And so, I would never recommend you to start your magnificent support journey with champions like Fresh or Bard. You'll do yourself more harm than good. Also, when you create your champion pool, mix a little bit of every type of support in it. My personal preferences as for easy support are first Lulu, her kit allowing her and her carry to be very very safe while having a lot of crowd control, Sona, who has a little bit of everything as well as a great crowd control tool but is probably one of the least tanky supports, Brom, who has a very good and easy defensive kit, and Leona, who's basically the opposite of Brom, who can make very powerful engages but has no real defensive abilities, making her think twice before going into the fight. And now you have your pool with all those cute little champions waiting for you to unleash their wrath on the rift. But who to pick and in which situation? Bang! Pick and ban phase. And your first pick! Oh dang it! Oh bloody schnizzle! What can you do? You have two things to keep in mind. The enemy bot lane and the ADC who is gonna be with you in lane. As you are the initial pick in these conditions, do not go for a champion who has very hard counters. For example, first picking Sona is a bad idea, as a Leona or a Blitzcrank will reduce her to mashed potatoes in lane. You should always go in these conditions to a more defensive support, such as Janna, Morgana or Brom, except if you know really well your champion. Second, but worry not my little friend, this will come with time understand the matchup to pick what will be most likely working in the lane. To take back the example I just told before, if the enemy team has locked a Sona, go for hard engage support to make the bot lane drown in mashed potatoes. And the second thing to keep in mind, some supports have a better synergy with ADCs than others. To take it from the worst to the best, we have Tarik with an immobile ADC like Kogmo, both kids conflicting with each other, Leona and Ezreal, as Ezreal doesn't have any sustained damages early game. On the top of the list we have Alistar and Kalista for the ultimate wombo combo and general peeling and one of the best lanes which is Brahm and Lucian. Everything with those two champions has a godlike synergy. After thinking if your support works in the lane, will it blend in the team? Look at it. Does it need tankiness? You'd better go towards a more tanky support like Brom, Alistar or Leona. Those top Yasuo, Jungle, Nidali and Middle LeBlanc aren't going to tank by themselves. Well, they can try really, but the result might not be so shiny. It might look a lot like mashed potatoes actually. Is your team balanced? You got a top Darius, a jungle Zack and a mid lane Twisted Fate? They might need some peel and protection in teamfights. You'd better go for the utility of the supportive supports like Janna, Soraka or Nami. Is your team full AD? You have a top trundle, a jungle Rengar and a mid lane Zed. It is time to put your carry pants on, because you really should go AP support and burst those armor stacking enemies with Zyra, Velkos or Brand. 
All in all, while picking your champion, adapt to the situation, but more importantly, know your strength and your limits. And please, never, ever play a champion because it is OP. How many Soraka have I crushed those last days because they thought the champion was OP without knowing the actual difficult placement mechanics that come with her? Just play what gives you the most success and satisfaction. Last point I wanted to make here, Exhaust or Ignite. It really depends on your playstyle and also sometimes on the matchup. Do not forget that Ignite gives grievous wounds and vision for the duration of the effect, making it a very powerful tool to annihilate the heal potential of a champion backed by your support like Soraka or who has a very high self-sustain like Mundo or Swain, so you can put them down faster. But personally, apart from those cases where it is kind of needed, I tend to always go exhaust. The slow, added to the armor shred and the damage reduction, make it the perfect tool to bait a fight and turn the situation around or save an ally from an assassin's burst. But sometimes you just want to dominate your lane, and in those cases you can bring Ignite. It is mainly down on heavy crowd control or AP support, the Ignite giving even more kill potential to an already deadly lane. That is all for me, I hope you learned something new. If you like what you saw, please drop a like or a dislike if you did not. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing. It was Solomai the support and it was a pleasure. Until next time, have fun on the rift!